the answer is in some sense uh, pretty easy. Um, we have to go back to uh, have better regulations. We financial sector has to go back to doing what it should have done. You know, it was doing innovations that were engaged in counting gimmickry and uh, regulatory arbitrage, getting around the regulations. Uh, but it wasn't producing the products that Americans really needed. Uh, they talked about managing risk. They created risk. Uh, they didn't create the risk products that would enable Americans to live in their homes. Three million Americans have already lost their homes and estimate another two million Americans will lose their homes. And many of these will lose their life savings. The financial system did not serve Americans well. They were gambling with each other. And now all of us are going to be paying the consequences. We're paying the consequences uh, in terms of lost homes, lost jobs, and now we as the taxpayers are picking up the tab for Freddie Mac, May, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Bear Stearns, um, and who knows what else uh, will be going on. So uh, the, the fact is that we need stronger regulations and change the incentives in particular to make these guys try to produce products that actually make our financial systems work well, allocate capital well, manage risk well, um, which, we, which they weren't doing uh, before. Now you hear, uh, I hear all the time say, well, you can't do that. We have to be careful about overreacting. Uh, if you overreact, you will suppress the innovation which is at the heart of America. The fact of the matter is the kind of innovation that they did was innovation that did not make our economy stronger. Uh, the innovation that they did was enrich their pockets at the expense of the rest of us. That's not the kind of innovation we want. We want the kind of innovation that really deals with the problems of America. Now our financial markets have done that kind of innovation in the past, venture capital. Uh, which helped finance Silicon Valley is one of the innovations of American financial markets. So they have the capacity to do it, but they, they lost the threat. They lost the way of w doing what they should be doing and went into gambling is uh, the only way to describe it with, with, with us having to pick up uh, the consequences of their failure. So that's the long run. I think we're pretty clear about what we need to be do uh, doing on that. There will be a lot of people who made a lot of money in the old system even if the stock has gone down, they, you know, they have their hundred million, couple hundred million so, uh, in safe quarters uh, protected. Um, uh, and they're going to be resisting it. But I think we really have to not listen to the same people who got us in the mess in the first place. <laughs>